Hi everyone. In this series of videos, we are looking at how to use the Fusion Builder elements. Today, we are looking at how to use the Recent Posts element. Let's begin. The Recent Posts element is one of three Fusion Builder elements that pulls data from the Blog Custom Post type. The others are the Blog element and the Post Slider element. Let's look at how the Recent Post element works. I've added a full width container with 100% interior content width here at the bottom of the nightclub demo. And I'll just add the recent post element in here. It loads the most recent posts by default, and in the options here we can style it as we wish. The first option is Layout, and here we can choose from Standard, Thumbnails on Side, or Date on Side. I'll just quickly switch between the three layouts so you can see the differences. But I think in this case, I'll leave the layout on standard. The next option is picture size, and here you can choose from fixed or auto. This option is on many image based elements, and basically auto shows the image as is, and fixed crops images to be the same shape. These images are all the same aspect ratio, so in this case it wouldn't matter which option was chosen. Hover type is the next option, and this of course controls the hover effect when you mouse over the images. I like zoom in so I'll change it to that. Now comes some layout options. As you can see, the number of columns is set to 3 here, and changing this will greatly change the look of the layout. In this case, I think 3 is about right. The option beneath this limits the number of posts we see on the page. Here it is set to 6. I think I just want one row of posts here, so I will set it to 3 instead. Post status is a new option for this element, and here you can choose what sort of post status to show with the element. It only shows published posts by default, but you can show drafted, scheduled, private, or pending posts as well. An example of this might be that you want to show private posts on a private page. Post offset is the next option, and here you can choose to not show a certain number of posts. It's set to zero here, so it's showing all the posts. The next option is pull posts by and the default is Category, but you can change this to Tags if that suits you better, and if you do, it will affect the following two options where you can choose which categories or tags to show, or which to exclude. By default, the element shows all categories. You can turn the thumbnail on or off with the next option, and following this there are options for what shows under the thumbnail. Show Title is set to Yes by default, but you could turn it off just to have thumbnails if you wanted. The same goes for the Meta and Excerpt. The next option, Show Meta, turns all meta information off or on completely, or you can select them individually from the next five options. I think I'll just turn them all off in this instance. There is a Content Alignment option, which in this case I'll leave at Text Flow, but it can also be center or right aligned if it suits your design better. The next option is Text Display, and here I can show an excerpt, the full content of the post, or none. Here it is set to excerpt with 35 words showing, and strip HTML is set to yes, but I think for my example I will turn the text off entirely. You can set pagination if you want, including normal pagination, infinite scrolling, or a load more button, but I'm going to leave this at no pagination. Then comes the usual element visibility option if you want to show or hide this element on various screen sizes, and the CSS class and CSS ID options for further customization with custom CSS. Finally, there is the Extras tab, allowing you to animate the load of the element on the page in one of seven different ways. I'm going to leave that on None. Animations are common to many elements, so if you want to understand these further, please follow the link below the video. Alright, let's just click the Preview button and look at the final result. Yeah, that looks great. This will of course update to show the latest three posts as they are added to the blog. Ok, this concludes our video on how to use the recent posts element. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos, and if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.